You know, when one of the Toyota Town in Jakarta right now is definitely Milo and his statement, right? I'm probably better than every single XP laner in Indonesia at least. How did you guys feel when he did say that interview and do you think that he was able to walk the talk? Well, um, we actually didn't know that he said that until the video is released. So, and then Milo was already in the corner before the video is released. Like, he was like, oh, don't play, don't play. Like, he know what he did. And when we saw it, we were really shocked because that's right after we lost to Indonesian team in scrims. And he, he, got, he, got, he got dominated. And I'm like, we were, we were just making fun of him for that. Uh, I think Milo just very, you know, he joke around a lot. He like, whatever he says, it doesn't really always, he doesn't mean it. Yeah. Yeah. But at that moment, I think he meant it, but now he feels it, right? It's kind of different, right? This is his first international tournament. Like, we know how strong they are. So, okay, just say whatever you want to say, but you will feel the difference when you come here and then yeah. go against actual, like, those top Indonesian XPs, which is uh, really good. Yeah. I, don't, I don't support that comment, though. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Perfect. Now, you've, I kind of see that you're a little, you're a little bit uh, shaking, maybe because of the adrenaline, or you just won versus uh, Dewa. Now, how does, it, how does the team feel overall now that you're heading into the playoffs? Oh, yeah, at that moment, I was just kind of like, you know, it's getting there, so I was shaking a little, but it was, it, I was shaking because of happiness. Oh, adrenaline. Yeah, adrenaline. And right. then I'm really glad that we made through the group stage, uh, which is because, you know, last international MSC, we didn't perform well, so I, it's really, it really means a lot. And then we beat uh, Dewa, which is a really strong team from Indonesia, PA, I mean, Indonesia MPL. So, yeah, we're, we're really proud of each other, and then we have to just reset and then we have to understand that there are more games, harder games yeah. coming up in the future. So yeah, that's just... Right now we have best player from the Ohio Brothers with us. First of all, best player, um, congrats on your win against Nova Esports. Thank you. Um, the first question is, what are some of the reasons that led your team to picking Chang'e? Chang'e? Yeah. Uh, well, we, we practiced it uh, quite a bit and we decided that specific game Chang'e was good and it worked pretty well, as you saw. So it all turned out, it all turned out perfect. Great. Next question. Um, what are some of the strengths of the team that makes you different from others? Uh, I think our strengths is that we're more of a, like, team fight team. You know, we're very good at team fighting, you know, and, but we still have a lot to improve on. And even though we won versus Nova, mm. we can't let that distract us. Yeah. We need to we need to be able to beat Dewa as well to move on to playoffs. Great. Um, next question. Following the disappointing results of previous international tournaments, um, what has the team learned and what would you implement in MPLI 2023? Well, the the previous international tournaments, they all had different lineups. So this one is almost a new whole entire lineup. That, yeah. that I actually see a future with and you know you know that's that's pretty much it. <laughs> Alright, next question. Um with regards to gameplay, what sets you apart from mobile Zen? I'm not toxic. <laughs> <laughs> a follow up to that, um do you feel that you play better than him? Uh you know, I respect Mobazane as a jungler, you know. He's one of the best junglers in NA and in the world too. And and sometimes I, I sometimes I think we're both in somewhat same level sometimes. Great, great answer. Um, next question. Can you describe the development of MLBB in NA? Uh, the development is actually really impressive actually. Like this year with two, four international events, it's, it's actually insane. I actually love it a lot. And I hope ML continues to move forward like this. Can we expect to see any new rising stars from NA? Uh, who knows? Maybe in the future. Okay, um, so that's all the questions we have for today. Um, thank you, best player. Now we have Mielo from the Ohio Brothers with us. Mm -hmm. Mielo, first of all, congratulations uh, with the win on Dewa United that mm -hmm. puts you into the playoff spot. Um, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. First question we have today for you. What do you think went right for th for this game? Went right for this game. Uh, definitely draft, and then uh, it was 
it was a do or die like uh, attitude definitely like made everyone more focused yeah okay and um on the other side what do you think went wrong for dewa united what went wrong for them yes um I think we were just a better team in general because uh, they did have a good draft. They had a clear plan with the splitting and stuff. Uh, I think we just played better overall, okay. like with the retro gaps. Okay. Um, next question: Would you consider Yu Zhong a an S tier hero? Right an S tier hero? Uh, more like an A, probably. Is S the highest? Is there double best? Really? Yeah, yeah. The S yeah. is the highest. Probably a little more like an A. What What makes Yu Zhong so viable in this patch? Uh because of the importance of Turtle, the buffs recently, uh, the fact that Yu Zong is probably going to be the strongest at Turtle, that's th that makes him that important. Okay, great answer. Um, next question. As a Filipino, do you follow the developments of MPL PH closely? Yeah, I do. I watch pretty much every game. And who is, uh, name one player that consistently inspires you to be better? Consistently inspires me to be better. Um... I've never really been a fan of anyone. Uh, the only one I've been a fan of was like, oh, my Venus from back then, like season four. Okay. Um, no one, probably. Okay, no worries. Um, next question. You have a 100% win rate with Teresla in NACT <laughs> Fall 2023. Yeah. Just so you know. What are the three main things to consider when a team wants to pick that hero? If you want to pick Teresla? Yes. Uh, it would be nice if someone has the ability to wave clear in your team, like an assassin maybe, because Sirius is very slow. Mm. Okay, and uh, what do you think are the best counters to Terizla? Best counters for Terizla? For sure, Paquito. Um, Dyrock can match him in lane, Paquito can out-rotate. Okay, um, last question. What do you think um, of Nova Esports? Nova Esports? Um, they haven't played for very long, so it's... It's pretty accepted that they don't place pretty high right now, but yeah, like Baloisky said, I think they're doing great for having played for like two months. And just as a follow up to that, how long will you, how long do you think it will take the Chinese region to be able to compete at Chinese an, at an international level? Maybe a year places high, two years they win. I don't know. Okay, amazing. Um, that's all the questions we have for you, Mielo. Once again, congratulations on moving on to the playoffs. Thank you very much. Thank you. Enjoy the win.